What's cracking gangsters far here from outdo.com as you can see from the title we are going to create a cool loading bar with a few steps in Unreal Engine so I'm just going to preview what we are going to do so just take a look at it right now when I hit play over here you are going to see that our app is going to load here is the loading bar and then we are going to load the level of course the level well it's empty because the tutorial is about the loading bar so uh, yeah, basically that's that. We're going to see how this cool effect will be created in a few steps and uh, I don't have anything else to say except uh, let's create this loading bar. See you in the next uh, segment of this video. Now that we saw the effect that we are going to create, let us create a new project. So we're going to go here under games and click on next. We're going to use a blank project or template, click on next. Everything over here is okay. Just give it a name and then click on create project and there you go. So this is what will be open for you. And uh, now what we're going to do is right click over here and create a maps folder. And I'm also going to right click over here and create a UI folder. And what we're going to do in the maps folder is I'm going to control S and save the maps, which is the current one. And I'm going to call this one main game or whatever you want to call it and click on save. And it's going to save this level over here that you see. Next, what I'm going to do is right click and create a new level. I'm going to call this one main menu because we are going to imagine that we are going to, well, create or go from our main menu and load the game with the loading screen. And the main menu, we're also going to save it in the maps folder and I'm going to double click it and open it over here. It's empty because we don't need basically anything of it. We're not going to put anything. We're just going to create the loading bar. Now over here in UI, we're going to import the asset and I have this GTA 5 wallpaper. Now you can of course Google it and uh, yeah, expect to be jailed for the copyright strike. <laughs> just kidding, but anyways, just get any whatever background you want. I chose this one for GTA 5 because, well, I like GTA. Anyways, what we're going to do next is right click over here and go under user interface and widget blueprint. And I'm going to call this one loading underscore bar or loading screen underscore BP and double click this bad boy. And I'm going to, well, dock it over here. Also, what I'm going to do for the blueprint main menu over here where it says blueprints, you see over here and I draw that to you, you're going to click on this drop down list. So this over here, so click on that one. And then from there you can click on open level blueprint and it's going to open the blueprint for this level. And we're going to use the begin play event for this particular level, which is our main menu. And then we're going to load our widget from there. But before we do that, over here for our canvas panel, what we're going to do is filter for an image. And I'm going to add the image over here in the canvas panel. This image, we're going to call it BG image or whatever you want to call it. It's not important. Next over here for the position X, I'm going to say negative 24 for the position Y, negative 28. And for the size X, I'm going to say one, nine, eight, two, and for the size Y, it is going to be one, one, four, seven. Of course you can resize it whatever you want. It's not important. Over here under appearance, and we have this brush, as you can see, you can click on the drop down list for the brush. And then over here for the image, you can click on the search over here and we're going to filter for GTA. And this is our wallpaper. Congratulations. This is how simple it is. Next, what I'm going to do is get a text. So I'm going to get a text and I'm going to put it over here. This text block, I'm going to simply say loading on it. So over here, we're going to type loading. I am going to reposition this text, but first things first, I'm going to click on the anchor. So click on the text over here. Then over here, click on anchors and select the anchor that's in the middle. So the anchor or the center point will be over here. What that basically means is that the position will be relevant to this point over here. So now you see over here, if I set the position to be negative, so I'm going to say minus two, six, four, and for the Y negative one, eight, four, this is where the text is going to be. What I'm also going to do is resize it. So the size is going to be five, 14 by 135. So it's 514 actually. And what I'm also going to do is pump up the font. So maybe 61 can do loading. I don't know. Should I put it a little bit larger? 91. 
so 61 is not enough loading yeah there you go we can also use bold bold is already selected also over here for the bg image what you can do is here for the tint color you see you can you know pump the volume you see over here when you click on it click on the bg image then go over here click on the tint color and then you can well play with the color slides over here to make it a little bit darker so that the loading can be seen and uh, yeah make it a little bit more clear next what we are going to do over here for the search we're going to search for the circular trobo whatever i really cannot pronounce this i have no idea what this is what i'm going to do with this bad boy is also set its anchor to be at the center and next i'm going to well reposition it of course and in order to position i'm simply going to say position x is going to be negative 150 and the y position is going to be zero but the size is going to be 300 300 i am also going to change here number of pieces you can see when you pump the number of pieces you will see now this circle is already and if i come closer you will see how this circle is already playing like the loading and the more of these pieces you have you see if you have less pieces then you only have one you see we set one if we set 25 we have 25 of these that are circling and this period over here you see the amount the amount of time for a full circle so how much time do we need for a full circle let's say two seconds so now it looks really like a cool loading bar what's cool about this is that you can also add an image you see over here you can add an image and if i go i don't know if i put this texture gray you see now over here if i i don't know let's try to add our gta 5 <laughs> you see how that looks like but basically you can add an image whichever image you want to add over here and for some reason i think i believe i removed it let me just go back over here yeah let me just add it one more time i don't know why the image didn't remove but yeah anyways you can see that we can also add an image as well which is cool and over here 300 300 and over here i'm going to say 25 and over say two and there you go so you can also create your own custom images that you can use for this one i'm not going to do that because you know i was lazy be thankful that i did this this is enough okay <laughs> just kidding but anyways i'm not going to do it and what is the next step well the next step for us is to simply go over here in the blueprint for our level which we opened from here and then it's actually over here blueprints and then level blueprint so from here what we are going to do is we're going to say create widget the widget that we want to create is going to be our loading screen bp this one over here that we have just created after that we are going to add it to viewport so we are going to say add to viewport who are we adding to the viewport well the returning value which is the created bp so this is the one that we are adding and that is going to make it visible inside of our game next we are going to go over here i mean we can test this out right now if i hit the play button there you go this is our loading screen and don't worry about the empty space over here on the right side we will see that in a moment and from here i can simply say delay for example and we can delay let's say two seconds and after that we can say open level and the level that we want to open is going to be our main level or main game so make sure that the name over here main game matches with the name that you pass over here otherwise it will not work now the last step that we need to do is remove this widget from the parent so from here i'm going to say remove from parent i'm going to double click this over here take it all the way to here like this and plug this in over here which means when we load our level we will remove this from parent because we don't want it to be in our screen or on the screen visible visible i don't know what what is with me and pronouncing these letters anyways what we did over here just a brief overview when the game begins we created a widget and we specified which widget we want to create after that we added that widget to the viewport by specifying the returning value which is the widget that we have created add that to viewport wait for two seconds open the level with this name over here and remove the widget from the screen so that we don't see it anymore which means if i go back now and if i hit play we will see the loading bar and then bam we are in our level 
as I said, don't worry about the gap that we have over here, because if we run this game, if I say over here standalone game and I run it as a standalone game, which is basically how it would look like on your computer, you will see the full image loading and then bam, we have entered inside and I need to, you know, remove this. I didn't add any functionality to exit this game. Anyways, there you go. So this is our loading bar. And if I say F4, it works. Thank you. So basically, this is how we can create a basic loading bar in a couple of steps. So we just added a BG image, we added a text, and we added the cir circular trouble, whatever. Anyways, fire here from Mazdus.com. If you want more tutorials like these, subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description. I will see you guys in the next video.